Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review series. So today we are looking at Relay Soul, a card that was in Dragons of Legends. And instead of just being like, yeah, this card sucks, don't play it, I'm actually going to go over the card, go into a little bit more detail, clear up any misunderstandings, and maybe, you know, uh, give you guys any tips if you guys want to try this card out. But, you know, I don't recommend it. You know, those win condition cards. So, Relay Soul is a normal trap card, and it reads, Special Summon one monster from your hand. While it is face up on the your side of the field, you take no damage. When it leaves the field, your opponent wins the duel. And you're probably thinking like, okay, why the hell would I do that? I special summon a monster, and if something happens to it, I'm, it's just GG, I lose. You know, is it really worth the risk? I mean, I'll allow you guys to be the ones to decide when I go ahead and give you guys some tips on, um, you know, how you can use this card to your advantage. All right, so. Clearly, you're special summoning a monster and face up, uh, you know, face up, attack position, of course. No, no, it doesn't have to be an attack position. It could be, it could be defense, but, you know, it could still be destroyed. That's the thing. That's the thing with the card. I thought they were going to give it a little bit more, like, maybe it couldn't be destroyed by battle or by card attack or something. Just like, no, you just take no damage. So, you're going to be special summoning this card if you put an attack position. This is where I was going to go with it. Um, you can always equip it with safe zone, you know, um then it won't be able to be destroyed, but also keep in mind uh, that, you know, MST is a thing, and people run that at 3, so if the MST, your safe zone, that's destroyed, destroying your monster, it's removed from the field, and then you lose the duel, so you want to be careful with that. Also, keep in mind that while it's face up on the field, and it's removed, you lose. So if you can flip it face down, you know, like a Book of Moon, or, keep in mind this, and you guys are probably wondering about this, if you use that as an XC material, the uh, effect uh, will not apply where you lose the, the duel. So, um, you know, if you want to go ahead and activate this special something from your hand, hopefully your opponent doesn't respond with, like, you know, uh, Bottomless or something, or Tarento, uh, or even Compulse, uh, and they allow it to go through, and you can summon something else and XC, then the negative effect will not apply. Uh, something interesting with Soul Relay, I mean, Soul Relay, I'm going to say this card backwards, Relay Soul, is that it's kind of a good counter to uh, Burn decks, uh, as long as you uh, keep in mind about Lava Golem, uh, you know, it says you, you know, you take no damage, period. This includes, you know, effect damage, so, you know, no more getting hit with secret barrels and, you know, uh, magical cylinders and stuff like that, you take no more damage at all. It's kind of like a, the the clock tower that the uh, Destiny and Heroes have. So if you just keep in mind with Lava Golem, of course, so, uh, you know, if you summon, if you have too much on the field and one being that monster that you summoned with Relay Soul and they send it with Lava Golem to, to summon Lava Golem on your field, you do lose. So, you know, just be careful with that. Uh, an interesting combo that you can do is use this card called Standoff. And stand off, let me go ahead and read it to you guys, because you probably never even heard of this card. It's a normal spell card, and it reads, Target one face-up attack position effect monster on each side of the field. If both monsters are still face-up on the field, they get their effects. Then if both of their effects were negated by this card, as long as those cards, as long as those monsters are in face-up attack position, they cannot be destroyed by battle, and are unaffected by card effects, also they cannot attack or change their battle position. So, pretty much, you can just... You know, your opponent has attack position monster with an effect, you can Relay Summon, rel Relay Summon, Relay Soul, Summon your monster, activate Standoff, then both of the monsters pretty much are just stuck there in stalemate, and then, you know, you can just pretty much just sit on it, right? So, uh, it would make your monster indestructible, immune to card effects, and, you know, and, and thus, being immune by card effects, it would thus block the, you know, the card's downside if you lose in the duel. Although, it will not be able to attack. Uh, the thing is that you can still, it'd be unaffected by the Relay Soul. Therefore, uh, you know, the target monster can uh, still be damaged. So, you have to keep that in mind. Another thing, another combo that apparently is a tip, but this is so situational that I don't even recommend you trying it is uh, that you can pro possibly give the negative effect to your opponent in which you use the card exchange where you, in which case uh, this would be the only card in your hand relay soul you know you give it to your opponent you hope that they set it then you can uh, use bait doll to force them to you know activate the card so 
uh, pretty much you gotta have really soul and the only card in your hand, exchange it with them, and then hopefully get bathed doll in this two situational. So don't even think about doing that combo. Um, another combo that, you know, me and my friends are actually talking about is that you can kind of use it with the Egyptian God. If you have Mountain Bound Creator, you can go ahead and activate Relay Soul and summon an Egyptian God card from your hand, specifically Obelisk. Then you have a 4,000 beater that, you know, cannot be, uh, you know, destroyed by, you know, pretty much anything because, you know, Mountain Bound Creator, he is level 10, so you, you know, he's a 4,000 beater, can't be destroyed by battle, can't be destroyed by card effects, can't be targeted. No, he can't be destroyed by battle. He, he just can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And he's a 4,000 beater, and you just special summoned him, you know, uh, because of Mounted Bound Creator, despite Obelisk being destroyed. Uh, and when he special summoned, he won't be destroyed because of Mounted Bound Creator. So that's the kind of combo that you can do, you know. Overall, you could probably just use it just to special summon a card from your hand, just to use an XC material. That's the best that I can give you out of this card. Like I said, it's a really risky play. I don't recommend anybody playing this card. I just wanted to, you know, just talk about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this card discussion series. Um, if you guys want me to, you know, keep this up, you know, every two days out of the week, uh, I'm going to need you guys to help, definitely. Starting to run out of cards to really, you know, I really want to sit down and talk about. So, I'm kind of scraping the barrel here. So, if you want this to go ahead and continue, be sure to comment, you know, any card that you want me to go ahead and discuss. It doesn't got to be a new card. It can be an old card. It can be a banned card. I don't know. I just want to get some suggestions from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Card Review Series. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys Thursday with another card. Thanks for watching.